J. Cole allegedly waited eight hours for NBA Youngboy, but he never showed up to the studio. Crazy. I didn't even know that this was a thing. Shout out to Ruben Atley for the comment. Crazy. Let's get into it. It's your favorite local, especially after I spoke. Support the real. Get rid of the fake. The F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just subscribe and follow me on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H. One word. Sunny Nash, I follow back like pictures and all that. What's up with the visionaries? Oh, let's read it. Young boy, never broke again. His professional life seems complicated to say the least. With multiple children with several baby mothers, it's a miracle he ever has time to record music. Ain't that about something? According to academics, the Baton Rouge rapper missed out on a rare opportunity when he left J. Cole waiting for him at the studio for eight hours. The former Everyday Struggle co-host made the claim during a recent Twitch live. J. Cole waited in the studio for eight hours for Youngboy to show up. He explained, Youngboy didn't show up. Facts are facts. Your favorite rapper, N-word, J. Cole. He sat in the studio for eight hours for a session with Youngboy. Youngboy never showed up. Let me be fair to Youngboy. No disrespect to J. Cole. J. Cole's just a rapper. Youngboy, we're going through a lot of stuff. He's living life. He's going through stuff. Youngboy said, yo, my energy is not fit to be in the studio with that guy. It wasn't about J. Cole. It was just that he and personally what he was going through wasn't able to fit in that environment. Academics also noted, Youngboy isn't the most courteous person in the world and neglected to call J. Cole to let him know he wasn't coming. Cole fans been waiting on the fall album. Followed up with his KOD. I'm not reading all that crap. Nash, what's your thoughts? My thoughts is this. J. Cole is a good dude. J. Cole don't got to rap with no NBA young boy. Let's just get that all the way out the way. J. Cole's trying to bridge between lyricism and creativity to whatever it is NBA young boy does with his style of rap and creativity and make it so that we have a space where it's not like the older rappers that's leading this generation with the younger rappers that's leading this generation. So shout out to him and sad on NBA young boy part for not calling him at least. Yeah, you could say your energy is off, bro. I'll give you full disclosure story time, bro. The last two recorded sessions that I've done, I didn't finish them. When I got to like the third or fourth album, bro, my energy was off. So then I did, I opened my wallet or, you know, what's your cash app? What's your Venmo or PayPal or whatever? I don't have Venmo, actually. And I just paid them their money and I got up out of there. If it ain't in you, it ain't in you. You can't force it, bro. When you're rapping, if you're taking it easy, everybody's going to know. What I mean is you just sitting there like, da, 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 da. when your voice is actually, da, 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 da. you see, there's a craft to how these rappers do what it is they do. If NBA Youngboy gets opportunities like this, let's say Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole again, Whomever is on that top tier that y'all consider top tier rappers. That's it. He's never going to cross over. Y'all can talk about him being snubbed from the Grammys and all of that and everything like that. That's cool. But if you want that long, sustained success, you need to get around successful people. You see, success breeds success. Habits come from those individuals, you start to see how they operate, how they work, what it is that they do that make them so special. So you can pick up something and take that with you. J. Cole, Jay-Z, NBA Youngboy, don't get that. If y'all want to know one of the reasons that Soldier Boy is successful... It's because of 50 Cent. Soldier Boy got around 50 Cent and got around Kanye West and learned success. Even though, say what you want about Soldier Boy's theatrics, his music and everything like that, you still know who he is to this day. 
I think that crank that came out in like 2007, 2008. I don't remember when the hell it came out. And I'm not about to look it up. Then you got Chief Keith, who was supposed to do music with 50 Cent and a bunch of other rappers and never showed up. And you know what the label did? They pulled their money back from him and left his ass to sit. Then you had Chief Keith have to go sign with certain rappers and stuff like that. And nothing that he's put out will ever reach the heights that that finally rich, I think that's what it was called, finally rich album had. Youngins, business is business, pleasure is pleasure. If you don't got no business, your pleasure is going to suffer. If you overindulge in business, I mean overindulge in pleasure, business is going to suffer. Business first. That's just what it is. Y'all expect me to keep it real because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. I just dropped How to Be a Crip, Step 19. I talked about the Big U situation. I talked about T-Pain, talking about he's the godfather of rap. And I talked about Eminem versus Generation Z culture. So check out those videos. You ain't subscribed. You ain't got your free follower and free likes by going ahead and following my page. And you haven't streamed the music. Can I ask a simple question? Why the hell not? The Nightly Nash Podcast is here, by the way. Check it out.